Can Yoshi suffocate Wii Fit? Can Wii Fit slow down the pacing of Yoshi? We're going to see it very shortly here in Suarez versus John Number, starting game one here on Pokemon Stadium 2. And again, this match is for seven. Whoever finishes out here will finish seventh place total. And there it is. We're going to be seeing that Egg at the ledge come into play. Numbers with the re-grab. And Suarez not actually finding that jump in quite yet. Not enough uh, frame advantage quite yet to be able to get the, uh, the two consecutive up tilts into each other. Um, but now Numbers, look how dominantly he is controlling the stage, just jumping around each of Suarez's hitboxes and with punishing him. Yeah, Suarez very much unlike himself right now. In fact, he doesn't even look like himself at the moment. But uh, I think that's why he's just losing this lead and letting it get away from him. Yeah, um, as soon as he starts looking like himself again, truly he'll be doing a little bit better. Uh, Swagas just trying to find a way to be able to, like, just sort of catch numbers, like, evasive play. <gasps> oh. oh, yeah, oh, wow. trying to place the egg right there. Maybe gonna get a combo pretty soon. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Wow. Yes, the managing of pacing versus, like, you know, who can get who to, uh, I guess, extend further first. Mm -hmm. Oh, numbers oh. just catching Swagas drifting out. Yeah, a bit of a nasty position. He would have had to air dodge. He would have hit the platform. He just needed to, like, directional air dodge or something. So maybe he just got sleeping at the wheel. Uh, but that being said, right now, Swell is getting a good juggle set up. Tries to set up uh, numbers onto the platform, but we've been having enough Ooh. air drift uh, to go to the ledge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a really good situation here. Uh, the ledge trapping coming into play from Suarez is looking like, again, trying to like limit the breathing room from John Numbers. But we fit trainer are very much a character that likes being off stage. Oh no, Swallow's actually going to be missing the punish. Numbers just making his drift on up be so ambiguous. Numbers doing what he does best, running off stage and taking a big old breath for himself. Is going to be able to reset the situation? And now, with such a good opportunity to make up this damage. Oh. Wow. Look yeah. at that. There's a whole lot of whiffing going on for like a while, but then a quick three piece, and all of a sudden, like Suarez finding himself with like 50 more percent. So Suarez has got some work to do if he wants to close his stock before numbers. Mm -hmm. He gets a grab, F3 for a little bit of stage control, and now Suarez just trying to threaten with his positioning, force a low recovery. No attempt to two frame quite yet, but just maybe trying to catch a preemptive roll in. Eventually, just ends up uh, getting hit. Yeah, numbers feeling a little bit of pressure, but if I'm not like mistaken, I do believe New York is like the land of the ocean, specifically Long Island. But like, mm -hmm. this is a uh, not a matchup that like numbers is inexperienced in. As we see numbers taking stock two on Suarez. Yeah, Suarez is just trying his best to be able to find these ends, but numbers is doing a good job of just playing outside of his immediate area of effect. Um, Suarez is finding like really big struggles oh. to pressure the ledge, but what a catch on a jump. Yeah, yeah, we saw numbers playing in the corner pretty expertly, but then uh, mm -hmm. hanging, playing with fighter a little bit too long, and now we got a last stock scenario here for game one. Oh, that's that falling oh, neutral. Oh, that, what? The header might have killed. You know, that spike might have come out. But still 95% and count. Oh my goodness, that's a zero to death, basically. And one, yeah, game one going in the favor of John numbers. That header could have killed. I'm, I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking about how new side B at the ledge oh, like oh. that might have been able to spike. Yeah, they're gonna see it again, and then still, regardless, even if it KO, that's 57 percent, mm -hmm. and then two more so hits, and that's the what game. What happens? Oh, we're pressing buttons. That's what happens. Uh, we get to go back a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's go ahead a and take a look. A little more, I think. Yeah, right here, right here. So what happens? Oh, and he presses a button. Pressing up uh, when you cross the stage from a character with such a big projectile. Oh, yeah, the zoom in. Yeah, she's in pain. Yeah, that's not going to feel good. But, uh. <laughs> yeah, Swellers yeah, just needs to be maybe a little bit more mindful of his actual distance to John Numbers because, <laughs> you know, there is a certain distance when you're far enough away from an opponent. You can just press your quickest option to be able to get out of hit stun. However, if you're still in mid range, uh, you can, you know, you, you, you can still just sort of get hit. Um, yeah. Okay, so already opening off this game, Swell is going for a lot more grabs, trying to catch John, sitting in shield a little bit more, and, oh man. How's, how does up smash do so much with deep breathing? That's, that's, that's not okay. It is not okay. I just saw a nasty clip of that just like recently from my region. But here we are, man. Numbers uh, playing for this 2-0. That's what I'm saying, man. The, the resilience <gasps> that you need. Oh, my goodness. That None of spiked. this forward air spiking. The header was a bit of safety, right? Oh, no. Wait, Yoshi. Can you get back? 
Here we go. Oh, I love that. Oh my goodness. Wow. No way. What an opening there from the drag down back air combo starter into the up tilt down air. And just like that, Suarez was an amazing stock one. That was just solid execution. That was just such good awareness of the percent as well. Because he knew that he didn't set up the tech chase, right? He only spaced the multi-hit that would be able to convert into a tilt. That was just very well done from Suarez. And now, gonna be able to find that out of shield punish. Setting up a tech chase does not find the jab block, but keeping John just locked at the ledge right now. Oh, big damage oh, afoot. Oh, oh, oh. The juggle's coming through in a quick 80%, and now Suarez trying to make this an amazing lead. Oh uh, man, I, I can't get enough of this. The, his use of back here is incredible. I like the down B. You probably just want to go and, like, and snap to the ledge uh, instead of landing onto the stage, but not going to be able to find it at the end of the day. Numbers breaking out of the egg, mostly unharmed. And now just going back to the other side of the stage, maybe trying to heal a little bit from the sun salutation, but not getting it. Yeah, here we go. Here comes ledge trapping from Suarez, but let's see if we can close out the stock. No, not going to find the up smash. And now, oh, here we go. We fit's turn to try to get some juggles in. I like how patiently Numbers is playing as well. He's just always waiting for that jump in from Suarez. But you always just have to remember how fast Yoshi is in the air. He has some of the best air speed in the game. He has so much handling out there. You've got to be able to compensate properly. Oh, a massive backer coming through and almost going to make this a very even game. Suarez taking both stocks so far with different hits of back air. And here you go. The money that you get from back air, one opening, and it's 33%, and the chase is deep. Was that back hit neutral into up tilt? Yeah. I've, I've never seen that, but you know what? It was, it was pretty cool. Um, that being said, Numbers now going to be controlling the stage. How does Suarez fight his way off the ledge? I love that little plank thing, um, but now just needs to be able to find a way to land. Oh, wow. Just fast falling just in time there. But, oh, that almost looks like a true combo. But either way, uh, Numbers keeping it close. Yeah, Numbers can easily make up this damage, especially if he has deep breathing on deck. One falling neutrally, one sweet spot header at the ledge. And you see Suarez just playing outside of that range. Baits it out. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, uh. Yeah? Looking like Rob running out of fuel there for a moment. And there we go. Uh, making this a game three set, Suarez in numbers. That's what you want to see here. We got to get the top eight. You want to see the competition what? getting close. But What, uh, what happened here? Uh, Did you just let go of his controlling? Let's look at his numbers. Double jumps. Cam. Yeah. Gets hit off stage. Oh, air dodge. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Neutral air dodge. Maybe he lost his jump during that. Like that's the only thing I could think of. Let's let's take a look once yeah, more. Yeah, he did he did drop down double jump neutrally from ledge, so it was he got his deep breathing on deck. He snapped to the ledge. And then Fuck. That's it. That, oh, that was the double jump's right there, yeah. Yeah, and then just double gets hit off stage. Gone. So John held out. He held out. He should have just been able to snap to the ledge. He should have been able to land onto the stage because of the fact that he held out and then tried to shield as he landed. Presumably, he fell to his death. Yeah, right there. We get, because of that, we get a game three scenario, and that's exactly what we want to see here. These two just showing the mastery of their characters, and now we have to see one person advance oh, in the top no. six. But that now we're, we're making it back. We got yeah, the match. Yeah, that was so well played from Swallows. He positioned himself, he waited, and he was able to find that foil as a result. But a little bit too weak to kill quite yet. Numbers not having the time to be able to convert uh, up to go into. Don't, don't challenge that. <laughs> Do not challenge that. You are playing with fire. Uh, either way, though, we're seeing numbers close the percent deficit, and all of a sudden, uh, we got a very close game three. Suarez was so brave for that. I'm still thinking about how he could have died. Uh, Suarez just playing back a little bit, trying to catch Numbers' next jump in or approach. Um, I love the way that he's just like threatening and mixing up out of his jump so much. He's just keeping himself so ambiguous. Cool. Here we go again. Get some uh, juggle scenarios happening. Forward air into wow. the up air. And now this first stock is going to be a huge deal, I think, especially because, again, this is loser's bracket. Both these players are facing elimination. So yeah. you want to control the pacing and set the tone of the game. You also never just want to fight numbers with a lead. As soon as he has a lead, he will never hold forward on his stick ever again. Uh, so numbers going to be trying to find a way to get back onto the stage. Late hit neutral only just keeps on throwing him off stage, which honestly is never. Oh. That pops you up. Yeah, yeah, the back air is the move that does it all for you. Tech uh, chases, sets up into up tilt, can also put you into, can also just like hit you up. That's insane. Yeah, and then the final hit also just being an outright KO with a high enough percent. And then, ooh, wow, here comes the combo starters from Suarez. Only a little bit of 15, but here we go, another combo situation. And uh, Suarez is kind of running with his lead. 
Yeah, 96 percent. He's definitely quite a far away from KO percent. Unless Numbers is going to be able to get deep breathing on deck and then just get like one big hit, especially at the ledge. Such a nasty place to be in. Runs to the other side just to be able to charge up that Sun Salutation once again. And now with a full Salutation and deep breathing, does not kill. Yoshi is so heavy. Yeah, Yoshi a big boy for sure. He's going to shield that second Sun. But the deep breathing we fit is definitely a threat right now. We need to get more extra credit from Suarez to make this uh, uh, a chance to put him in the top six. Remember, he's trying to get so tricky with his recovery. Just still going to be struggling to find a way to get back onto the stage. And again, the way that Suarez is just setting up with Egg is so good. We're seeing numbers alternate between neutral get up and goal. And Suarez can only cover one at a time. Oh, not going to be enough on Yoshi, but 178. Any catch of, la of landing or a jump right there is yep. going to do it. Now, two stocks to two, numbers keeping it close. Was the spoilers controlling the stage once again? Numbers is going to be able to find Ooh. that hit so... What? What? The, the, the what? spot dodge and the uh, taunt. Uh. <laughs> this game three is getting heated. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't get too punished for it. That was clearly a miss input if you saw it at the play of the cam. Uh, but but still, that's just a little bit tough. Ooh, going to be dropping through the platform. You have to remember that Yoshi can always do that with his own stall and fall uh, and just snaps back onto the ledge. Yeah, you can't see it behind his mask, but Numbers is letting out a big grin after that moment. But here we are. Uh, two stocks to two. Numbers with the rage can definitely take the stock first. Uh, just that, that commentator's curse, right? I'm going to always let you, like, commentate <laughs> the high pressure scenarios because you helped get the pace of the match moving along. Thanks, buddy. Uh, sure. So, from across the stage, hitting Sun Salutation. Maybe Swole is getting a little bit too lost in the sauce. 14 damage, 23, 33, and now you're off stage. Oh my goodness, wow, this pressure coming up from Suarez. This is where he's thriving with the ledge trap scenarios. And most of the time, Numbers is choosing the right decision, but when he's not, he's eating a lot of percent for it. Yeah, just keeps on trying to set up these two frames or like these catches with new uh, with up B. It can convert into forward, it can convert into any of Yoshi's aerial. So Suarez is just being so patient at the ledge. Yeah. Oh, that could have been a connect. God bless Ultimate. Yeah, this is uh, still not a good enough lead for Suarez. Definitely wants to take some more damage on, but no. Just as I say that, another curse. One stock to one, one game to one. Loser's bracket. One person's finishing in seventh place, but I can't tell who it's going to be yet. Oh, Suarez reading the neutral air dodge, but Numbers drifting back into the stage so that he can no longer connect forward air. That was actually really, really smart. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was not it. At first, Suarez did not pull the trigger, but finally finds the mark he was looking for for the yeah. set. And just like that, we have Suarez advancing the top six here at yep. Xeno 209. So I, th I think that first air dodge from Numbers was actually pretty smart. So I just want to I just want to go to, go ooh, ahead and take a look at this one. Ooh, yeah, dude. This one oh, almost, oh, this. that was the second one. Yeah. Uh, the first one gave Devin a heart attack, I swear. So I was like, is John going to get spiked too? But no, he ended up like drifting in uh, towards the stage, which I just think was really, really good. So I just want I just want to be able to look at this one more time. So throws him off the stage. And Suarez, I think this is just like such a good play. Just jumping at somebody just to be able to threaten with your own positioning. This is not a throw that actually has any true conversions off of it, right? So so it's going to be purely mixed up scrim here. Baits out that defensive option. Wait, no. This is still the wrong air dodge. No, wait. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> but you're, you're exactly correct about that. Is uh, just, the, just going out there. Yeah. Uh, just existing out there. Like, just kind of bait out an option. Kind of like we saw earlier. I think it was just like some people like recovering on the stage. But yeah. I think we're going to just jump right into the top six here. 